Good evening. Two kidnapping suspects are off the streets tonight. We can also tell you um, more details about that in just a moment. But first, it's 6 o'clock, and I'm Denise Valdez. Hi, Denise. I'm Kirsten Joyce. Tonight, two suspected kidnappers, as you mentioned, are in custody. We learned hours ago that 49-year-old Keith Holman and 36-year-old Kristen Pfaff of Pahrump were arrested in Henderson. According to the Nye County Sheriff's Office, the victim was held in a Pahrump building and was rescued New Year's Day. Let's head right over live to Joe Miller, who, Joe Moeller, excuse me, who has the very latest. Joe. Well, according to the Nye County Sheriff's Office, it was a tip from the public that led to the arrest here in Henderson. Now, earlier today, we spent a lot of time in Pahrump talking to people who live in the area where this woman was rescued. And as you can imagine, people there were pretty shocked by this story. Now, according to the Sheriff's Office there, the woman was held for months and forced to do manual labor. The victim was allegedly kidnapped in March of last year and brought to the building. You see in this video with barred windows and barricades at the front door. Now, the building also has cameras and motion sensors. Police found out about her location after her mother got a Facebook message from the victim, according to authorities. The neighbors in that area of Pahrump were shocked when they heard about what happened. I couldn't believe it, really. It's hard to believe. It just shows that, that evil is everywhere, and you really need to keep an eye on your neighbors and take care of each other. And this is not the first time this couple has had a run in with the law. Exactly three years ago from today's arrest, there were uh, they were arrested in a case involving starving animals. Now, the sheriff's office reports Keith Holman sexually assaulted the victim in this case back in 2018. Now, both are facing a number of charges, including second degree kidnapping and false imprisonment. Now, this couple is expected to be transported to the Nye County Detention Center. Reporting live in Henderson this evening, Joe Mulder, 8 News Now.